Hi everyone, day four on the rebounder. So if you would like to join me, bouncing maybe about four minutes, if I can make it to four minutes, and then some yoga. Take your time, take breaks when you need to. So let's get started. to a down dog 
hands and feet on the rim of the rebounder and stretch those calves. This should feel really good. Feel free to bend your knees if you need to. Just find whatever feels good to you. And then walk your feet forward a little bit, coming into a wide leg forward fold. Hands where they make sense to you. You might have them on the rim or the mat, whatever feels good. Breathe here, keep your spine nice and long. Notice how this feels. And then come up halfway and reach your right arm up for a twist to your right. Keeping your spine nice and lengthened. Then lower your right hand and inhale, twist to your left. Breathe here. And then lower that left hand down, unwinding. Come back into your wide leg forward fold. Notice your breath. And then come back into your downward dog. So readjust your feet and hands. Make sure you feel stable. Lengthening through your spine. Just an option. You might reach one leg up, maybe bending the knee, coming into a scorpion dog. Just an option. You might just stay in your down dog. If you're doing scorpion dog, come into the other side. Notice how that stretch feels. And then lower your knees, hands and knees and table pose. Come into a few rounds of cat-cat. Inhale, looking forward. Exhale, draw your belly in. And then you might extend one leg, staying on your left knee and reach up the right arm, twisting to your right. And then lower that hand, extend your other leg out, and lift your left arm up, twisting to your left. And then lowering that hand, coming back onto your knees, and thread the needle, right arm underneath your left. Getting a nice stretch and twist here into the upper back. Any variation that works best for you, Make sure this feels okay. And then other side, left arm comes up and then underneath your right, come onto your left shoulder, left side of your head, or thread the needle on the other side. Breathe here. And then press your way back up. So option now for pigeon, bringing your left knee forward. Make sure this feels okay for your knees. Lay on your back for figure four hip stretch if this bothers your knees. You can stay up using your hands to support you or whatever feels good. I think it feels nice in this position, but not everybody likes it. And then bring that back leg around, crossing your right, your right foot over your left thigh and come into a seated twist. Breathe here, twisting to your right. And then unwind and come into your pigeon on the other side. Right knee forward, left leg back. And you might find some variations. You can always keep that back leg more bent if that feels better to you. So here's a back leg bent version if you would prefer. Make sure you feel it in the hips, not the knees. And then rock over to your front hip, bring that back leg all the way around. 
that left foot on the outside of your right thigh and twist to your left. Breathe here. Keep your spine nice and long. And then unwind and straighten your legs out. Coming into a Paschimottanasana, seated forward fold, stretching out the legs. Keep your spine long, maybe holding on to your feet or toes or legs. Or you can hold on to the frame of the rebounder if you prefer. Breathe here. And then slowly come back up. And we'll move into bridge pose. Scoot forward, lay down. Make sure your head's comfortable. And maybe bend the arms, press into your feet, lift your hips, lengthen through your low back. Breathe here. Lower down, lift your head, come back up, boat pose. Nice length through the spine. Draw those legs in. A little more challenge balancing on this mat. You might have your arms by your side or you can just fold the knees. And then hold your knees. Lower your feet. Widen your knees. Baddha Konasana. Long spine as you hinge forward. Hands can be wherever feels good to you. This should feel pretty good. And then slowly come back up. Another one for the calves. Coming onto the balls of your feet. Just dropping your heels towards the mat here. Getting a little stretch in the calves. It helps a little bit. Stretch them out. You can also just come to a seat here. It's more into the feet and ankles though, which can feel good after all that bouncing. And then Come to a seat. If you would like a little shavasana, you could just sort of spread out on your mat and relax. Wow. Appreciate all the sensations you're feeling in your body. Stay as long as you would like. So thanks for watching and joining me for Rebounding in Yoga Day 4. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I look forward to seeing you next time on either your yoga mat or the rebounder mat. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.